Hello everybody, I am Ruz Bashad. In this short video, I am going to show you how to debug SQL code, in particular stored procedures. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, let's start with SSMS. After the application is opened and you are connected to the database, expand the databases node. I have already set up a copy of the well-known Northwind database here, and I want to show you the steps of the work using it, but you are free to follow the work with your own database. Now expand the Northwind database and then expand the programmability folder. After all, expand the stored procedures folder. You see a list of existing stored procedures. Let's pick one of them, for example, sales by category. Before starting the debugging process, let's have a look at the code and definition of it. You see it has two parameters category name and order year. Right click on the stored procedure once again and this time select the execute stored procedure option. In this dialog box enter seafood for category name and 1997 for order year in the value column. Finally click on the OK button to close the dialog box. You see that it generates the appropriate statement for us. Unfortunately, the debug capability is no longer available in SSMS version 18 and upper. So, we have to use Visual Studio for that. So, copy this part of the script and go to the Visual Studio. Open the Tools menu and select the New Query option from the SQL Server sub-menu. In the Connect dialog box, specify the database server and database and click on the Connect button to connect to the database and close the dialog box. Now, in the query window, paste the code that you have already copied. Put a breakpoint at the exec statement by clicking on it and pressing the F9 button. Now, select the execute with debugger from the SQL menu. You see that debugger will stop at the breakpoint and you can step through the script as normal by using the debugging keys or icons on the toolbar like F10 and F11. You can also see the current values of each variable or parameter in the debugging windows like locals window. At the end, you will see the result of the stored procedure in the pane at the bottom of the screen. That's it. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you are interested in the future videos, please don't forget to subscribe to get notified of them. Thank you for watching.